Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Warren Xiao. I'm a medical student from the University of Adelaide. Today, I'll be presenting to you my study on the outcomes of open versus laparoscopic versus robotic versus transanal total mesorectal excision for rectal cancers. First off, there are no conflict of interest in this study. Colorectal cancers is one of the most commonly diagnosed cancers in Australia, 40% of which comprises of rectal cancers. The mainstay treatment for rectal cancer is the excision of the rectum and the mesorectal fascia on block, and this is known as total mesorectal excision. There are multiple approaches in achieving total mesorectal excision. Primarily, we have the open approach or OPTME, the laparoscopic approach or LAPTME, the robotic approach or ROTME, and the transanal approach and TARTME. However, the optimal approach remains controversial. And hence, the aim of this study is to assess the comparative outcomes for all four surgical techniques. In this study, we performed a systematic search in the listed database above and included only randomized controlled trials of adult patients with rectal cancers that directly compares two or more of the surgical approach. A Bayesian random effects network meta-analysis with a non-informative prior was conducted using R programming. We measured two primary outcomes. The first is a rate of clear circumferential resection margin, which is defined as the closest distance between the tumor and the circumferential margin being more than one millimeter. The second is the rate of complete total mesorectal excision. We measured several secondary outcomes as well, such as the distance to distal margin, which is defined as the distance between the distal edge of the tumor to the anal verge. The distance of free radial margin, which is defined as the minimal distance between the tumor and the cut edge of the tissue, and the lymph nodes retrieved. We also looked at several intraoperative outcomes, such as conversion rates to open surgery, operation time, period mortality, and rates of ileostomies and colostomies. We also looked at postoperative outcomes, such as post op complications, anastomotic leakages, and length of hospital stay. Last but not least, we looked at survival outcomes such as disease-free survival, overall survival, and local regional recurrence. Using the PRISMA guidelines, our search screened through 1,524 studies and yielded 42 manuscripts consisting of 29 RCTs. In total, we have 6,523 patients included and the number of patients in each individual TME approach listed above. These were the geometrical network plots that were plotted for each individual outcomes. The thickness of the line between the two nodes denote the number of direct evidence across two interventions. And as we can see, the bulk of direct evidence occurs between open surgery and laparoscopic surgery. Moving on to our results, there were no statistical differences in the rates of clear circumferential resection margin across all four surgical techniques. The best intervention, robotic surgery, only had a 46% probability or a super score of 0.46 of being ranked number one. Similarly, compared to open surgery, there were no differences in rates of complete total mesorectal excision across all minimally invasive surgery. However, when we take a closer look at the secondary outcomes, we find that there is statistical significance that robotic surgery achieved improved distal resection margins compared to all other surgical techniques, with a probability close to 100%. Other notable secondary outcomes include laparoscopic surgery, which had the highest rates of conversion to open surgery as we compare to robotic surgery, and open surgery which had the shortest operation time but the longest length of hospital stay. There were no differences in free radial margins, lymph node harvested, anastomotic leakages, protection ostomies, period mortality, post-op complications, disease-free survival, overall survival, and local regional recurrence. In conclusion, robotic surgery achieved improved distal resection margins and a shorter length of hospital stay compared to open surgery. However, there were no other benefits in oncological or recovery parameters that were observed for other minimally invasive surgeries. Recently, 
Robotic surgery has been a promising alternative to mesorectal excision, despite its poor adoption rates amongst colorectal surgeons, not to mention its expensive cost. However, our study has shown that robotic surgery has some superiority over other surgical techniques. Given the lack of robust RCTs comparing robotic surgery versus the gold standard open surgery, better data in the form of large multi-center RCT comparing robotic surgery versus open surgery should be undertaken to best validate these outcomes. And ultimately, surgeons should choose the surgical approach that best suits their expertise and technology available at their disposal to ensure the best individual patient outcome. Thank you so much for listening.